am. Phil, I don't think your your mic is. Is my mic not on? Oh, nope. Now is it on? Yeah. Yes. Oh, there we go. It was going to. Uh, we it was going here. out to the radio, but it was not coming to us. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, okay. Cool. All right. So yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> let's make a list on KPCALP, Petaluma, California. Uh, this is the show where you guys know what it's about. We take some topics relating to pop culture stuff, performing arts, performing arts. That's a, Ooh, I that's, a that, 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 that's a good one to to add. Um, and some other stuff. We talked about museums one show. That doesn't fit into any of these categories. But uh, we we have a topic, and then myself and a guest or two, and two regulars who are here today. Uh, just regulars. Yeah. Just regular just, people. It's like yeah. muggles. Yeah, um, yeah we, we, we make lists, and we talk about our choices, and uh, that's, that's it. According to my phone, we make least. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and so if you want, during the show, if you have any... Uh, Anything you want to add, you can call the station at 707-981-7577. Excuse me, that's 707-981-7577. And, um, and also, uh, you can tweet us at Phil and Ariel if you want during the show, if you don't feel like being, uh, uh, if you don't feel like talking over the air. All right. So today, uh, let me introduce our guests, get to know them a little bit, then we'll talk about our topic. We have... As I said before, two regulars, two returners. <laughs> returners, that's much better. Returners, two, two averagers. Yeah, two uh, norms, staples of Northern Return. California. We've got Chris O. Hi. And Ariel. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that's pretty much. That's pretty much them. <laughs> we got um, to know us now. Yeah. Yeah. So even though, okay, so it's almost February, so we're already almost a twelfth through the year, but. This is our first episode we've recorded for the show in a while. So you did a lot of math in your head and came up with a, a while. Yeah. Well, like and I'm trying to remember. I think did we did we do? Oh yeah, we did a best of 2017 show right. the first week of January, and then we had a couple of recorded episodes. Mm-hmm. But this is, eh, whatever. It's still like beginning of the year. Pulling back the curtain. <laughs> eh. So you got to yeah. reveal that it was recorded. Nobody sorry, everybody. Everything's live. Know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just sometimes don't call in. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is live, guys. Unless you're listening to it later. <laughs> um, maybe they'll, they'll be uh, having stuff, playing it re- repeated. Uh, yep, later. <laughs> I hope people don't call in when it's playing the repeat. That would be embarrassing. You could just you could uh, ADR in little don't call, don't call, don't call over the part. <laughs> That's a good repeat. idea. Um. Uh, that would also work as uh, ASMR. Yep. <laughs> or like don't call, of, don't call. <laughs> the reverse of a commercial for a car dealership. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, today we're brought to you by the Car Fox. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a car dealership. Good job. Almost. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's get to our list. We're talking about. This is why I was talking about. Yeah. The beginning of the year ish. We're talking about things we're looking forward to this year. Not just personal things like, like I'm gonna get new shoes or I'm gonna learn to fly a kite. Oh. Nothing like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do either of those things. I I already know how to fly a kite, mm, kind of, and uh, I don't need new shoes. These I, I I don't know how long I've had these, but they're still pretty good. I put a lot of effort into actually trying to come up with things that were personal things and not, but I couldn't really come up with any. Oh, okay. so so we're safe. I just didn't know that. Um, I was like, I, I just I didn't want my whole list to be things I'm looking forward to spending money on. Yeah, that's kind but of. But that's kind of what we're doing. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, my that's list kind of what is the primarily show is. things that uh, money will be spent on. Yeah, there's. I didn't really list personal, personal things. Art's not free. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to <laughs> laying it down. Devalueize. That's right. That's exactly right. Devalueize art. Nope. <laughs> uh, oh, things with Spotify and <laughs> and streaming. Amazon Prime. Nobody pays for what they get. <laughs> Grandpa's on the radio. Do you want to hear my grandpa voice? Right in grandpa. Do you want to hear my grandpa voice? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I was going to do. So thank you. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just wait until someone else uh, talks. Um, oh, what's going on, Peluma today? Uh, it's kind of nice out. All right. Yeah, I don't know. That monitor's, monitor's not on, so I don't know if it's cloudy. I think it is. It is actually on. Oh, it's on. It's just not home. Yeah. All right. Well, 
I, I'm I, I, I'm lost for words. I don't know what else to say. It's been what six minutes? That's fine. All right. So uh, That's different. The best way to go through a show yeah. is to be counting it moment by moment. Yeah. How long have we been here? Too long. <laughs> um. So yeah, my things are. These are the different categories of things I have. I'm I'm not gonna. Whatever. Just to let you know, so I want to be curious if there are any other things that I okay. kind of categories that I didn't even think of that I should have. Movies, video games, books, but I don't have any on oh. my list. Uh, spoiler: uh, TV shows, music, and then uh, there's a concert and something <laughs> unrelated to all that. <laughs> no, How about like, you guys? I think that's everything. <laughs> Your tone of voice. So. <laughs> I, I, I talked. It's a long show. <laughs> um, We're at like uh, eight minutes now. Oh God, really? Seven. Um, how long? Jeez, I got it. You got me excited. I thought we were almost done. How much of it is is that as a as a fraction? Is that like eight sixtieths of the way through? Yeah. So you divide each by two, and you got four thirtieths, and you got two fifteenths. So two fifteenths. Nice. Thanks. Um, uh, I sat in the car with Stuart uh, on our way back from comics, and Stuart, Stuart is their my brother. brother. Uh, Your brother, my only. Just mine. Phil's a host now. Yep. <laughs> um, Independent. The, uh, and I went like, okay, is the, can you think of anything that's like going Boom. to happen in 2018 that's not just something being released that you can buy that, that you're excited about? Or it's like it could be cool or something. And we both kind of just sat there silent for a few minutes. So 2018. Yeah. <laughs> We're excited. There, there might be some... Uh... I'll I'll get excited if uh, political talk. I'll get excited if uh, a little bit if if uh, if Trump gets impeached somehow. But we'll just yeah, that, I'll get headed into it, like the pen. worst yeah, part of the but, whole thing. No, but there'll be there'll be like a day of like. Of, that's I, like I, you're well, looking we'll forward to getting the knife okay. pulled out. And you're like, well, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when the blood starts shooting yeah, that's, out. That's, and that's, you have that's, to really work fast. So that's then true. we'll just agree that if that if an impeachment does happen, that I just won't be home. So that you can have a day of celebration. Well, it'll be like it'll be. Yeah. I won't let you celebrate that. <laughs> they'll be. They'll pardon not me. because I don't agree that he should be impeached yeah. at all, but because it doesn't it's, change anything. It, it just means that we don't have an insane toddler at that, the helm driving us at the iceberg. That's very true. But there will be a part of me that'll be like, "Oh, look, they actually did something." Yeah. But yeah. which yeah, is really knows. sad because it's like, yeah. "Oh, look, somebody caught the nuclear bomb that's still <laughs> yeah, exactly, off on their yeah, arms. yeah, <laughs> yeah." Well, Which is still cool. Phil likes football, right? That's kind of like football. Hey, I love football. Punt. I, kinda, I haven't uh, watched any sports games you, over the last like, year and a half. Watch your language. <laughs> I haven't watched any football games this year. No basketball, no baseball, no hockey. It hasn't been very... It's only been like a twelfth of the year so far. That's you pretty know, good. That Two common 15th. phrase, a twelfth of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Until a twelfth of the year. <laughs> well, now that we've covered sports... Um, uh, I should do a politics. sports show. Ooh, <gasps> phone call, phone call. <laughs> Somebody's right. going to talk to us. Do, do, do. I haven't done this in a while. Here we go. Press a button. Nailed it. Hello, thanks for calling. Let's make a list on KPCALP. You are on the air. Who's calling Hi, today? I, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to you guys getting to your list. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got well, it's been nine minutes. I think shots fired well, right think, from the whole. Story. No, like twenty minutes or so. We'll we'll get to the list. I think. Prepare to be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was just uh, calling because I already have your phone number in my phone, which makes it really easy to call you. <laughs> oh, nice. That's you. a good right? tip for other listeners. Yeah, seven zero seven nine eight one seven five seven seven. Cars for kids. Yep. <laughs> And you can get that, that off your website, so it's really easy to put it in without having to memorize what you're saying. It's true. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, very <laughs> much. Okay. okay. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your making a list for the future. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. She didn't say who she was. <laughs> a stranger. With a capital yes, S. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, stranger. Thank you, stranger. stranger. Um, I'm going to call sure. that stranger mom. It's um, a family affair. Yeah. Guys, before we get to our list, Ugh. real quick, Elton John announced that he's going to do a final tour. Okay. Like, the, at the end of the year, he's going to be done performing. 300 shows he announced. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's playing San Francisco and Sacramento and San Jose, which is like, arenas and each yeah. one's pretty big. But anyway, that's what made me think. Are there any? I was going like, ooh, maybe I should go. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I like some Elton John stuff. I think it's just one of those where it feels like... Like, are there any any bands that I, I realized that I don't need to see him yeah. live? I, I 
I have nothing against them or anything, but I'm like, I don't need to. But I, what are some bands that that you feel like, oh, I, I should see them live before they, they retire, before they're done? The Beatles. <laughs> <gasps> I should do that. <laughs> we should do that. We should Uh-oh, make a thing Ariel. of it. What? I bet we can find... Do you if, have something to tell me? Th- yeah, there, there's a really good Beatles cover band <laughs> in Liverpool, actually. <laughs> well, we saw you, too. Yeah, that was one of them that was... I feel like that was one. Yeah. Peter Gabriel. Mm-hmm. That's a good that choice. Yeah. Um, Chris and I only, almost saw Jan Jackson a couple times. Yeah. But it kept getting postponed. Yeah. yeah. Kate Bush, if she did another um, live... Didn't she do a live show? She did one a few years ago. Yeah. That I think her son persuaded her to do. Oh, okay. So get to work, Junior. <laughs> do it again. Yeah, I, I'm sure there is somebody. I can't I can't think of anybody. I've seen a bunch Madonna of people live. For you? Yeah, yes, that's a, good, that's a good choice. Yeah. It's good to wait until they're like way past their prime, <laughs> kind of, so it seems like, oh, this they probably aren't as good. And also the tickets are, stu- are the most expensive they've yep. ever been. Yep. Actually, I, I'm trying to think of anyone I've seen who's like older perform live and i i don't can't think of anyone where i was disappointed where like oh they they seem too old now to do right, what i yeah. want to do everyone i see i'm surprised I'm like, oh they still they still when i saw paul mccartney live i was just like oh he doesn't seem old at all well, right. yeah i mean unless unfortunately someone is like going through dementia or something like right. they're, they're still going to be an amazing performer because they've been doing it for yeah. forever and well, so they know all the tips and tricks unless they uh don't care about it anymore right and then it comes off as rote that's the only yeah. time that I think it would be a bummer. Yep. Um, apparently, the cars, I've heard and read that they slow down all their music a bunch huh. when they perform it live now. Like, people <laughs> say it's it's just... it's. I've watched some clips, and it's like, yeah, they slowed it down okay, a yeah. bunch. Yeah. That makes a difference. All right, that yeah. would be but a problem. Problem. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, um, oh, that's not the song. That's yeah. a cover of your song. <laughs> all right, list time. Yeah, Cars. I just wanted to talk about Elton John. <laughs> it's like that'd be fun to go, but it's I bet tickets are more than like fifteen bucks probably. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they're selling so many of them. You get and them good in for bulk. him. Good for him. For yeah, him yeah. Going out for three hundred. Yeah, shows. I think the first like fifty or something are in Vegas. Okay. But then he's I, doing a huge I was actually tour. gonna try to make a joke. Was like it was gonna be like, oh, is that all a Vegas residency? Yeah. <laughs> Well, apparently, yes. Some of it is. <laughs> Wait, what's what's the fraction relation? Fifty shows out of three hundred. <laughs> oh, that's easy. That it. Wow, this is uh, one sixth. <laughs> it's one sixth. Yeah, you were just. That's easy. It was like easy, wow. and I couldn't. Yeah. I didn't even like. Where do I start? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's too too many choices. Well, notice I, that I didn't start anywhere. I just fobbed that one off to <laughs> you. Sports term. Oh, okay. Thank you. No. It's oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, <laughs> what should we talk about? <laughs> how list. how many should, things should we do? Should we? How Errol? How many things are on your list? Errol has eight. Should we each do eight then? Sure. I if think I can mention the, a couple of Yeah, I'm going to mention the other two. So ten, and then we should Ariel do eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I was going to say, you guys should actually do more of your lists, because both them, capital T, them, have much longer lists. They are way more enthusiastic about stuff this year than I am, apparently. And so I think you should definitely hit those. I'll just sit here, <laughs> quietly. Okay. You going to hit our tens film? <laughs> uh, let, yeah, let's tens it up. Okay. Um... All right, Chris, you go first, please. Okay, I'm really looking forward to Elementary Season oh 6. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, Elementary is the American one? Yeah. Yes. And it's just one. been surprisingly great as far as I'm concerned. From and, the beginning. And, and I think uh, and this is the last season, and it's been like over a year since it's been on, and it's, I'm just really excited about it. I've been missing that show a lot. I didn't even realize because it had been gone for so long. Yeah, yeah. And so I, when, when something isn't playing constantly right. in my orbit i just kind of like erase it from my memory so that i don't get constantly excited about it and I, I just kept going like oh i guess it was canceled or something and then i kept mm-hmm. looking it up and going no it's not they've got yeah, ordered more episodes anyway it's happening this year well then i'm excited about that too good hey oh we're TV already shows on are number me. nine now oh yeah was that on your list <laughs> nope because i didn't even think about it or know about it oh let's see please continue i said i would sit here quietly that's it <laughs> <laughs> and he started snoring. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that my 10th most looking forward to ish thing of the year is. We, I, wait, have I talked about the Elton John tour yet? <laughs> um, I'm going to say the final season of Love. The third. I think it's the third and final season of the TV show. Have you watched any of it yet? I have not yet? watched any of it yet, but I mean to. It's on my list yep. with another 200 something things. Netflix shows the only ones where I'm. That I 
feel like I think I'm kind of up to date on it all mm-hmm. because I can just go, oh, I can just watch the whole season right now. Yeah. And, and you then, don't otherwise get to watch television. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that and the, this is not my top 10, but Silicon Valley, those are the two shows that are currently airing that I, uh, that I, I enjoy watching and that I, uh, I, I'm looking forward to. Nice. That's pretty good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Love does have, I thought like that some does have a problem, the, 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 I, what I call the Judd Apatow problem, which I don't know if it's, it might just be coincidental with a bunch of stuff he writes. He he makes, I don't want to spoil it, never mind. Okay. But uh, but the, he does some things that I that I, I think is funny and I, I like his writing, but there's some things I don't like that he does. There we go. That okay. was radio. Yeah. You can still look forward to something even if you don't think it's going to be the best thing in the world. That's true. Yeah. Well, at least number 10. Yeah. You can. Uh, okay. Ariel's number nine is <laughs> elementary. I actually added a okay. true number nine to Ooh, my list. So okay. elementary so is apparently ten. number 10. Okay. So then we're tied. Hey. We're all tied. Who, who's who's going to go with number nine first? Phil, you have to make the decision. Oh, you, you, okay. you, uh, you, you, you. The Beach Bum, Har- Harmony Corrine's new movie with uh, Matthew McConaughey. It sounds really oh, he's a, interesting. Oh, he's the guy that did Spring Breakers? Yeah. Okay, I didn't even know. And I think it's just was... basically a comedy, but, you know, that's... With Matthew McConaughey? Yeah. What, what's it about? A guy, I don't know much, but, like, just a Beach Bum guy. Is he huh. going to say these three words? Probably. <laughs> all right. All right, all Those right. Those are six words. Nope, not if you're spelling it as a single word. That's true, that's true. Without I just always... That's true, that's, that's true. true, that's true. <laughs> Wait, you're missing one. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my number nine. It's, There's some... it's probably coming out this year. We don't know for sure. <clears throat> Artists. There's mm-hmm. some things on my list that would be higher if I knew for sure it was coming out. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to go ahead and say Gorillas because this is the thing... Jamie Hewlett, who does the all the illustrations and stuff for him, the animation, he says that they're going into just recording and releasing another album this year. Damon Albert, I don't think, has said that. So I don't know if it's true, but uh, hey, I'd be happy. Anything just Damon Albert does, I'll be happy. From Gorillas, yeah, yeah, just continue. Just I yeah. think he just has so much material. Well, he just writes, Damon Albert just writes music mm-hmm. all the time. Like, he he just, that's He's what he very does. very prolific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's like a passive aggressive tone. I don't know why I do it. <laughs> but he talks about interviews. He's like, oh, yeah, that's having songs is not the, the issue ever. Okay, it's yeah. just having the time and just making the scheduling things. Right. That's it. Right. Fair Which uh, is pretty, pretty cool. But he he also is a, he has his, his own studio that he just nine to five Monday through Friday mm-hmm. okay. when he when he's. In, when he's home he just does that and he just I has people life. that work there full time I think Eminem it's the same way mm-hmm. Eminem has his own studio and he just just like, works yeah it's just his like 9 to 5 jobs goes in there and just records stuff nice there's gotta be so much there's unreleased so... Eminem stuff that yeah, I'm yeah, guessing yeah. is amazing and there's <laughs> that, so that many people heard. that complain about like certain artists who just like not doing anything ever right and it's like nope uh-huh. <laughs> yeah they live breathe eat bleed like yep. the music that they make and if they didn't make it they'd probably pop like a balloon yeah <laughs> which would not be fun no it'd be no, that's, no, it'd why be. shouldn't have left <laughs> how dare you <laughs> all right that was my number nine ariel's so ariel's true number nine number thank you for calling on me <laughs> oh you're welcome now i can join the party please uh, don't be a book books are boring <laughs> oh boy it's yeah. not a book it's um robin hood with Taryn Edger- Edgerton or Egerton and um, some other people that will be coming out sometime this year. And it's not because of who's in the movie per se. It's because it's Robin Hood. Wait, it's is a, it a movie? Is it, yes. is it like a, a whole movie. new, is it connected it's to the origin story? So it's not like, so the Russell Crowe one was an origin story too, right? Yeah. So they're doing another one. Okay. They're doing another one. And so I, I just, I'll, if there's a King <laughs> Arthur, if there's a Robin Hood, I'll watch them. If there's something with unicorns, I'll watch it. If there's something with spaceships, I'll watch it. My my like bar <laughs> is real low. And then after I see some of it, I'll then I'll make my choice. Uh, and have, decisions. Oh, it's a gritty take. A oh, gritty. Oh, does uh, it take place like now? I can't tell. Oh, oh no, I was thinking of something else. No, I was because there's oh, there's a picture with him wearing like medieval okay clothing okay. and with a bow. So. <laughs> Uh-huh. I don't know. Um, I just Fox? saw Robin Hood. Oh, yeah, Jamie Foxx is Little John. And some of the cast lists, and I was like, I'm there. Sure, I'm yeah. Sold. I'm yeah. into it. Done. Same yeah. director that did, but I clicked on his name before on IMDb. 
So, oh, this guy does Peaky Blinders. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Peaky Blinders is really good. Yeah, I've only seen a little bit. Either. I need to watch more. Really good. Yeah. Really And I had Tom Hardy's in some episodes. So I need to yes, see those. Yes, he is. All right. Does he show up on my list, Tom Hardy? No, he's one of my uh, outside the top ten. Oh. Just Venom. Tom Hardy. <laughs> Every year, so I look forward to seeing forward Tom to Hardy. I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> <laughs> but even matter the fact if it's that he doesn't, screen. yeah, it doesn't make it to top ten <laughs> means. You, you, well, yeah. I don't. I don't expect to see it. That's the right. thing. It's like the gorillas help. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, are we ready <laughs> if for? You did see him? Would you just yell? Ah, it's happening! <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> I don't remember whose turn it is. <laughs> Chris. Oh, I thought. Okay. Yes. I'll, yes. yes. I, I remember. Yes. Right. Thank you. Totally right. Uh, my introducing your number nine incorrectly threw me off. Threw me off. How dare you? My be number true. eight is strangely the the new Halloween. Hey, that, that's th- on my list. Uh, Who's in it? I'll go uh, talk about that too. Uh, I don't remember the well. The, the original Mike Myers is in it. Just weird. Uh, From Austin but, Powers. But oh, Phil, you know the names. Thank I can't you. come up with their names right now. Not not. Wait, the two, oh, the guy. Wait, yeah, the two guys. Oh, Danny McBride and is Jody Hill also ready with them? I think no? that's right. I can't remember. But it's just, it's one of those, everything I've heard about it just seems exciting and interesting, and I like Halloween a lot. It's not something that they can really ruin for me, mm-hmm. so I don't, I'm not worried about it at all. Let's I'm just looking forward to seeing how it goes. Three it's, actors. Sorry, it's, uh... Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. What, all right, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> uh-huh. Danny McBride is writing it with, um, David Gordon Green. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, and what's her face? Is it? Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, yes. yep. And uh, and I like Judy Greer's. I, guys, I knew something about a horror movie. Yeah, let's that, take that a I moment come up with. to yeah, appreciate that was good. me. Yeah, <laughs> on your show. <laughs> Are we done with that now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, but but the 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 fact that they seem really excited and and it just it's like I'm interested in seeing what they're gonna do with it. Nice. Yeah, Eric, here's the picture that they released. Oh yeah, it. yeah. Everybody, look at Phil's computer. <laughs> yeah, everybody, Ugh, you're all failing. <laughs> um, you don't know that. <laughs> All right. Um, True. Uh, there are windows. <laughs> um, the, uh, there was something else about it, but I can't remember what it was. And I'm sure it wasn't interesting. People of Paluma, you could have a show. Oh, you could be in the I studio. Remember you could look Phil, at my computer anytime you want. Yep. <laughs> um, the, uh, uh, I rewatched Halloween just a uh, few Which days. Which one? The original? The, the original one. And it's still, it's, it's like a, you know, it's a slasher movie, but it's still just like, it's totally entertaining for me the whole mm-hmm. way through. And then I watched the Rob Zombie one and fell asleep during it twice. Oh, really? It's just not, I've never, that one just. It's very different by lo- me. Okay. I, 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 I like still like it about totally. It, about it, but it's, it's just, oh, I'm so bored during it compared I, to the first one. Oh, okay. I get that. They're very different, but I like them both. Um, I get scared by everything, so. <laughs> no, well, we, we saw a scary movie just recently. Uh, Split. Don't spoil that. Okay, no problem but at see, all. But see, that's not a horror movie. That's more like oh. a thriller. It's more like a film versus a movie. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like there's like an artistic side to it, the way that people present it, as opposed to like, I'm making a horror movie where my goal is to scare the pants off of you. This is like a movie with more depth. And so things like that I can do, like Silence of the Lambs, love it, can do it, handle it, no big deal. But you show me the ring (laughs) or the orphanage (laughs) and I sit there petrified (laughs) and some of them last with me for longer than others. Great. Let's talk about me. This is my show. Let's make a list. (laughs) So you're, would you say your favorite movie is like Corpse Bride because it's got Johnny Depth? I actually... (laughs) (laughs) What a segue that. to something. <laughs> no, 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 that makes well sense. Played. Yep. Well played. Well played. But usually, yeah. Let's talk about us. <laughs> I can do that. Oh. <laughs> All right, who's up next? Um, Are you done now? Yeah, yeah, finally. I think it's my turn next, I think. Uh, next is an EP. It's coming out, I think, soon. Uh, I don't know if there's a release date for it yet. I'm going to check. But a uh, new spell band that... Right. That... Uh, played on the show mm-hmm. and uh the guests on on at least one of the people from new spell is going to be on uh phil narrow's mixtape february 15th pretty good in the studio very exciting mm-hmm. um but yeah they they have a new single out they just released a few days ago actually and uh off of their new ep that is uh i think supposed to come out soon i think sometime this year so i'm looking so- forward to it. that that yeah their their last ep uh it's, it's great i listened to it a lot yeah, you, you, you uh, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. 
<laughs> I'm giving you jazz snaps okay, for support. This, is, this felt like an inside joke I didn't understand. <laughs> um, this belt just started snapping a lot. It's radio. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yep. That's a good one. Thanks. Breaking the mold, not talking about movies. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Jeez, guys. <laughs> this isn't movie 101. This is uh, performing arts 102. Here we go. Well, I'm going to fix the mold and talk about a movie. Oh, cool. So, number eight is where we are. Yeah. 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 I could look <laughs> at my list and just deduce. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes Elementary. Got it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm looking forward to Avengers as I wrote it, Infinital War. <laughs> <laughs> I had it in my mind until recently that it was Infinity Ward, and I don't know why. <laughs> but I totally thought that was it. <laughs> You're like, how is that going to make sense? Yeah, and, and, and they it, pull back <laughs> and show you that everybody's just crazy. And yeah, they've been in a hospital ward the whole time. And then, this is my this is my thought because I I like most of the the marvel movies i see but i don't think about them really like much at all mm -hmm. so i was going infinity ward <laughs> kind that, of an insult that sounds kind of cool kind of yeah that, well that sounds kind of cool and then my my brain was like infinity ward does that make sense is there like some thing is a ward also means something else is it like a, a power source they get like a one of those glowing cubes or something <laughs> yeah it's like when um a very rich person in the 19th century uh, has a ward which is a child that they raise it's like a it's like how <laughs> like the state Robin. has wards power sources oh. <laughs> the state uh wait what what is that thing in that i think loki grabbed in one of the movies the infinity like stone a, infinity stone there yeah. we go yeah. yes ward stone same thing. yeah there, it's it's a, you, yeah those might come into play yeah. uh infinity ward is also the company that made uh call of duty that makes sense yep i know that now thank you yep. <laughs> that's just one of the things that was in my head and i never uh -huh. thought to i was going like i'm Oh, I'm wrong. Yeah. But I didn't think to actually yeah. look into that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's not on my list, but uh, I'm going to see that. It's going to be an action movie. I know I'm going to see it. It's going to have a lot of bright colors and. Uh, yeah, cool it, I, it's, it's, think... on, it's on my list, but lower just because mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, you know, the big Marvel movies have had a lot of the same just weird insects from space. Yeah. And I'm not excited by it, even though I am going to see it on opening day, probably. Yeah, I just think. Mm, it's a big movie. Yeah, that's fun. So there's that. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna? Done. Do you think it's gonna play in theaters? Nah, <laughs> I think that they're gonna travel around like Elton John. They'll be like going to places after. <laughs> oh, he goes, yeah, yeah. will be it'll live shows, <laughs> and then oh, they can good, tell yeah. everybody that that Elton John opened for them. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like Cirque du Soleil being opened <laughs> I by see. Elton John. So we have three hundred chances to see it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Not quite True. infinity amount. All right. <laughs> are we are we at my seven? Now? I think we should go. So to here's your seven. the thing: is my number seven is uh, Black Panther the movie? I don't. That's know on my list too. Why? It's just that one looks so cool to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I much more excited yeah. about that than, than than the 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 Infinity War. That's yeah. number one on my list. That's number one on my list. Spoiler. Okay, <laughs> this is why it looks awesome. I'm also going to have There's so many reasons. List. <laughs> uh, the person who directed it, I'm not sure he wrote it too. Uh, but know. he did um, Fruitvale Station yeah, and right, Creed. Okay. And I like both those a lot. Fruitvale Station especially. And Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, Michael B. In Jordan's movie. in it, who's mm -hmm. one of my favorite actors. He's just great in everything. Yeah. And Martin Freeman is in it, who I he I realized like that's why I like the Hobbit movies is because he's in it. <laughs> um, one of my favorite things about the Hobbit movies are the sorry, I'm going to talk <laughs> I don't know. Please do. Is the extra scenes where they show how many times he would like do okay, okay, scenes, yeah. And then how he would do it differently every time is like amazing. <laughs> and he's really good and funny. Yay. <laughs> and that, that, that it enriches your viewing experience even without those parts being in the movie, mm -hmm. which is fun. Um, good vocabulary. <laughs> Thank you. Sports time. <laughs> and it, uh, uh, it, it just looks yeah. great. It looks cooler than all the other Marvel movies, I feel like, just the way it actually yeah looks. and, and in then, civil war black panther just looked just like he was awesome and mm -hmm. serious and not mm -hmm. a joke and it was, it was it just looks great yeah he's the same guy who who wrote and uh, directed for station and creed okay. also wrote it also uh, ryan coogler okay and uh and it's got <laughs> there's something else um i don't know but it, it yeah. yeah it just looks great and the trailer had uh run the jewels music playing which just fit perfectly <laughs> okay, yeah. and it just was such a good it got me more excited yeah. too 
part of why I'm excited for it, this might not be like entirely accurate, but it's how it kind of feels, is that it's this amazing, gorgeous looking movie with black people who are amazing and powerful and yeah. like the styles are influenced by African like culture and heritage and everything. There's amazing hairstyles. Like all of these people look powerful and self-assured and it doesn't seem like it's being filmed or like as a story that's necessarily told through the lens of like white right. eyes. Right, right. And it's like a huge huge movie yeah. that doesn't have to do with slavery and it's about <laughs> yeah, black yeah. people yes. and black culture and black pride and that is awesome yeah and and the fact that they're marketing it at everything yeah just like it's another marvel movie yeah, yeah. and they're and, not but not shying away from any of that and they're is not awesome. but they're also not like look at us congratulations yeah, on yeah. us right yeah. yeah it's like so amazing that it's just they're it just looks like an awesome them. movie period mm-hmm. and yeah. like Oh, the costumes and everything just uh-huh. like the design of it looks so yeah. amazing and i'm just so excited that i'm probably gonna cry <laughs> <laughs> well it's it's also like do, do wakanda and stuff was stuff that i go like i haven't read a whole lot of uh black panther comics but still it's stuff that i never thought would be on um, you know on the big screen especially and it's mm-hmm. just like this there's a lot of cool stuff they could do yeah and so i'm excited mm-hmm. yeah so i don't know his story at all mm-hmm. so I, yeah, I'm not I, a huge comic book reader. I never have been. And so it's really cool to have fresh yeah. stories uh-huh. <laughs> for me, at least, yeah. because there's so many movies being made right now that are just remakes. Yeah. Remakes. remakes, remakes, remakes. Uh-huh. I'd like to uh-huh. take this opportunity to plug one of my uh, my unfit. What do you call the opposite of this list? Things that I wish they weren't doing in yes. 2018, <laughs> which is an American remake of Inside, no. which seems like wait, 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 I'm trying to remember what that is that's the 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 <clears throat> horror movie with the pregnant woman as the main person and it's like someone trying to break into her house and stuff mm. French I think okay. um and it that's I mean, oh, fine inside movie. out no <laughs> um but it's just like that can you really not read subtitles you do mm-hmm. there's no reason the whole the style of that movie is the point where you mm. anyway that's all I just yeah. wanted to say that well I mean my my opinion towards shooting towards Hollywood is: Have you ever been into a library? Uh-huh. There are like a million gajillion yeah. books that are waiting to be made into mm-hmm. movies. So <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah. Um, so that was my tangent. Nice. Thanks for letting us hop onto it. Yeah. Now it's somebody else's turn to do seven. Should I go? Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Uh, Deadpool two. Nice. The first, first movie was great. Every once in a while, I forget about it, and then I go, Oh yeah, that movie was. Completely entertaining the whole time. The second one will probably uh, probably be entertaining. That's my number eleven. It. Fingers crossed. Here's hoping. Mm-hmm. Uh, IMDb has that listed as untitled Deadpool sequel, and I hope that's actually the title. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, that the few things they released for it were funny, so I feel mm-hmm. like they're there's still the same kind of comic sensibility. Yeah, and uh, you got Josh Brolin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always want to say Brolin. You shouldn't. Who's Josh? Josh Groban is in it. That's mm-hmm. it. The opera singer. <laughs> That's true. Phil, um, Phil's nodding with his eyes closed. Yeah. Whatever that means. <laughs> it means that he knows that he's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, he's not even scared. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see it. Yeah. The movie looks good. Yeah. It's, it's a good closing good. statement. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they answer all those questions. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that they I hope they, they complete the story. <laughs> it's my... That's my only preference. I hope it's perfect. That's my only. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, thing so I want. you also, also have I, a low bar. <laughs> <laughs> also, I hope it's rated R now that Disney has bought Fox oh, yeah. and also has delayed this movie a little. I'm guessing it's going to be R. I think so too. But it would be it'd be sad <clears throat> if, if that changed. Polar Express was PG though, so who knows? It it's might have been so G weird even. that like the comics are at least as violent as the, but they don't swear the same way. Mm. So the comics are you can sell them to kids, but. The movie had to be rated R for him to say swear words, which like also like it seems so weird that that fits perfectly, even though he like never swears in the comics in that to that degree anyway. He's letting oh, his hair down. It's weird. Yeah. Underneath the hood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he doesn't have any anymore, but still. I mean. <laughs> uh huh. He put on a wig. For okay. The just, effect, yeah. Which okay. I feel fits. Yeah. All right. That's All good. right. Number seven. Yeah. Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere sequel, which is, I believe, titled Seven Sisters. Okay. Is I that a really novel or a graphic novel. Novel. novel? novel. Yeah. Neverwhere was I've written a long time ago. Okay. Like 20 years or something. And it's 
been made into a bunch of different versions. There's like a TV show, right? Yeah, a lot of other things. But um, <laughs> basically, anytime the Neil Gaiman book comes out, I want to read it. Yeah, <laughs> I I, uh, I always get excited for his stuff, even though I don't really read any of his stuff because I haven't really liked any of his stuff. But it's always like good, and he, and he seems to be good at. We're going to talk about this more in depth. <laughs> world building and and uh, and and getting stuff that's that's actually. It's exciting that he's making sequels and follow-ups and mm -hmm. interconnections and all that stuff. I think like that's cool. Yep. He. Wait. So did he do? What's that show that Seth American Rogen? Gods? Uh, well, that are you thinking that about one. Preacher? Was he involved with that at all? No. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that was, like, I think coming out around the same time as his comic was. Sandman. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Maybe? probably a yeah. little after that, I think. But yeah. But they're also like really liked by the same people. No, they were mm -hmm. both eventually Vertigo comics mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, yeah. so they're in they're, the they're 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 of an era. Yeah, yeah. Very... It's also part of the British invasion of comics. Thank you, Britain. Oh. <laughs> Phil's thinking. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Chris. Anyway, that's yeah. <laughs> Number six. They're making a Teen Titans Go theatrical movie. You guys, really? is it animated? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like a show. He that's said Kristen cool. Bell is in it. I think she was in one episode of the series. But uh, nice. But same voice actors and everything. Teen Titans Go, the weirdest little kid show I've ever seen. They're making. A, <laughs> I'm going to see that in the theater. It's, it's so a popular weird. show. So I know. It's, yeah, it's called Teen Titans Go to the movies, and oh, I good. didn't know about it until making this list, and I just was I had to look it up at two or three places because I was like, no, that does can't it, be. Happening. Does it have a release date yet? Uh, does, I think it does. Time? I don't know what it is. I'll get back to if you. If it's today, you should go. Right, I know. Right now, get out. What is it called? <laughs> Teenagers at the movie. Are you right, with an exclamation part in the, uh, point in the middle. Teen Titans go to the movies. <laughs> uh, they have a teaser trailer. I know. I watched it. <gasps> 2018. That's yeah. this year. Yes. Uh, okay, it's the second theatrical film to release on a Warner Brothers animation series. Oh, there were. Did you they, know? Twenty five Did... years after. Do you want to guess? Oh no, I have no idea. What Second theatrical about. film to be based on Warner Brothers animation series. So, uh, Batman: Mask of the Phantasm in 1993. Huh? I don't know. Never that. heard of that. Nope. Uh, theatrical Guys, release July 27th. Okay. So that's pretty soon. Yeah. You it'll better be, it'll get be, your tickets. I bet that you there'll start be waiting loud the kids in the now. theater. But aside from that, <laughs> I think it's gonna be fun. Um, is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. Tech Nine has a new album come out in a couple months. Um, I've heard a few songs. I like him. His uh, I like all of his albums. He he's released like a bunch of he calls them those collabos, which is albums that he releases where it's he does like basically one verse on each song. It's just a bunch of the people on his label and stuff okay. with him doing stuff. And I feel like those have been rushed. There's like three over the last like two years or something, and it's just not rushed. It feels just there's it was there's more quantity over quality right a little bit un un um, unpolished a little bit yeah just wasn't as interesting to me but uh but the things i've heard from his new album sound really really cool so i'm looking forward to that guys nice. it's a good idea thank you <laughs> keep on trucking number six yep uh is alita battle angel i don't know anything about I, it I, I saw a trailer it has a robot i'm down <laughs> robert rodriguez is directing oh, I forgot about that movie. There we go. Uh, I remember seeing it. Right I cannot tell at all whether I should be excited about Desperado that. Desperado with a lady robot. <laughs> yeah. Is that was that the name Desperado? Um, <laughs> Donio Banderas. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. He did yeah. uh, love uh, El Mariachi. Yeah. yeah. And Desperado, and then Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Yes. Yes. Which I like that movie mm -hmm. a lot. I like all three. Rodriguez is Shark Boy and Lava Girl too. Yes. Um, which was a little bit past our time, <laughs> but good point. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's just fun and it's got a robot <laughs> that's a lady and it, 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 oh. it's, that kicks what, my oh, what you... no no i'm gonna change the subject a yeah the fun, uh, the, yeah it looks like the action stuff looks like it's gonna be pretty uh, mm -hmm. pretty good and it's also got um what's his name i don't remember johnny tsunami <laughs> the the german or perhaps austrian actor from schwarzenegger arnold no <laughs> christopher lambert <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Christopher Guest? <laughs> no, from um, the movie that we have the poster up on the wall in the living room. Ninja Turtles. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I jump up in this table. Christopher Michelangelo. Do harm to you right now? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah. Um, Christoph, Christoph Waltz. Waltz. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
Oh my God, <laughs> what a mountain to climb. <laughs> yeah, it's got Christoph Waltz in it, I think. And, um, I think that's correct. probably true. Um, He's a good one. They also announced Machete Kills in Space. <laughs> Yeah, that was wow. the, the trailer at the end of Machete Kills. Uh, I didn't. I haven't seen any of the Machete movies. What, the, so the Machete they Kills was Machete so, into like it's what it's been from the beginning. Are... Yeah, it's it's a series that encapsulates that whole. Well, I mean thing. that it's gone to space though. Yeah, which is what they did with um, Predator, right? Well, they did. Well, that's they kind of they're they, aliens to begin with. But they did it with uh, Jason. Jason, yeah. Thank yes, you. Yeah. that's the one. Leprechaun. Yeah, Leprechaun they did also. <laughs> yep. Leprechaun in space. <laughs> Good company to keep. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the, the I was so I did not care for Machete Kills and the, the the last I feel like it was five minutes was teasing Machete in space and I'm like, great idea, but this is so dumb. They didn't so we'll get see. they're not getting Danny Trejo either. What? Paul Rudd. <laughs> no, it's Danny Trejo. <laughs> um the yeah, I, I need I need to see those movies, but I I kind of expect need, I'm, I'm a, need yeah. is a very strong word. For yeah, you that. can borrow. Yeah. I have machete. I kind of want that. to see them. How about that? Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty close. But I just ex- I'm. Thinking, I feel like oh, they should, might not be great. You should Maybe watch them with with like a Lego Subtitles? set to do. Oh, okay, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, that's expensive though. I already Our put together all my Legos. Is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Chris, yours was Machete Kills in Space. <laughs> nope, I didn't know about that until I thought they. It's like they couldn't make that. It sounds too bad. Uh, <laughs> but uh, are we on my number five now? Yeah. Uh, can I, I'm just gonna say DC Comics in general. And if I had to pick one, probably the, the dark metal thing that's going on right now. That's just uh, really fun. And the DC has been bad for a few years, like really bad, at least in my opinion. And the last couple of years is it's it's really turned around and started re-embracing its weird disparate genres and all those kinds of weird fun stuff like talking gorillas and all that 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 it's coming back and it's a lot of fun and the superman stuff has been good too nice um yeah. you just just because you're talking about the movies <laughs> <laughs> not, not so Fel, much those away for a little while <laughs> no i was listening yeah um I wonder if I'm ever going to get into reading comics. I don't think so. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to start reading some... I want to start all the uh, time. Spoilers. But... Star Wars comics. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good idea. Maybe we can hold That's hands and skip on our way <laughs> to the, the yeah. comic store. Yeah. We each read half of the comic the and comic. tell each other what happens. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I haven't read any of it, but I think it's two issues into Karen Gillan's run on Star Wars, the mm-hmm. main series, which is probably Wait, going to the, be great. the actor Karen Gillan? No, no. it's spelled <laughs> no. differently. Oh, okay. Kieran, Kieran, Kieran Gillan. Oh, okay. Uh, is a, a writer who just, just manages to get the Star Wars voice perfect and all the Did stuff I've read of his. This person do a Darth Vader series? Yes, yeah. and that was great. And cause you, I heard about that, and I'm interested. It's really, you'd think it, it's like, it seems really dangerous and dif- difficult to have Darth Vader be the protagonist, because he's kind of a mysterious, evil guy. Mm-hmm. But they, he managed to make it not take away any of the mystery of him while still having him be the center of the... I'm really, really excited awesome. about it because it will fix the prequels for me. I think it might a little because it does, because it does acknowledge it them without... telling that story yeah. well, yeah. which was not what happened in uh-huh. the prequels. What I am saying is fact, <laughs> and if your opinion differs from mine, you're wrong. We're, we're going to have an episode sometime. I want to do a Star Wars episode <laughs> where we rank the movies, but then have... Like yeah, have a bunch of people in here to do that. So that would be so we still have a few. That might have to be a multi-episode series though, (laughs) because like we will get bogged down in details. Yeah, we've had these conversations. Yeah, (laughs) we know. Um, (laughs) sorry. (laughs) I just thought of two things that might that should be on my list but aren't. Oh, but I'll talk about them at the end if we have time. Okay. Response. Yep. All right. Cool. So you said. uh, uh, DC Comics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, we already <laughs> talked about Halloween, so I'll True. say Halloween. Looking <laughs> okay. forward to it. Halloween movies. Love them. Gonna see them. I haven't seen all of them. How many? These have you look seen? good. Yeah, like four. <laughs> Me too. I've seen the first and the second one, and then the fir- the remakes of the first and the second one. And I've seen parts of a few other ones. Okay. And I've seen uh, yeah. Halloween H two O. Is that what it is? Yeah. I haven't seen that one. I'm going to see that. I think that the they're ignoring they're ignoring that one and yeah. a bunch of other ones yeah. for the new one. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. I hope they have Michael Myers being kind of an older guy instead of 
having him so seem like, oh, yeah. to have not. I mean, I'm fine would with you, either way, but I think it sounds would fun. Would you want then. them to address the age by just making him slower, like a slow zombie? Or do you want him to then have to overcompensate for his like aging I don't, for I think being that, clever? <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I, I guess the latter slightly, but I'm more like I want to see how someone else would approach this problem that I don't know how to solve. Mm. Just, and also, I just, just like, I wish immortal. more old people were in things. They, they Almost everybody and everything is young, and it's annoying. Fly that flag. <laughs> um, I think they should just, uh, what was it, Medicare or Medicaid? Which one is for <laughs> uh, older people, usually? I really wish that I could answer this question. <laughs> but he's just, every once in a while, like, cards we just falls out of his pocket. We were listening to two good. mooks and a mic, and they were having this conversation, yeah. and I immediately <laughs> forgot that information. Yeah. <laughs> um, it just did not stick. That was not an insult to that show. That was me <laughs> oh, yeah. not being oh, able right. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to oh, yeah, like, yeah. hold on to important I details. think it's Medicare, I think. <laughs> okay. So there's That's my nice. joke. You, yeah. He just, just, just it falls out of his pocket and goes, ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Ariel, number five. Number five is Stranger Things, the next episode. Uh, next. Oh, I, I <laughs> next don't think so. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't put that on my list because I think they said it's not going to be until 2019. Uh, it just ruined think, an entire yeah. year I just for our film. Failed. Well, it's still something I'm looking excited to. So cool. There. Okay, you can we spend. Won't talk about yeah, it you you might need to. You might need to lead up to. The, you, yeah. you need all mm-hmm. 2018 as a runway for your excitement yeah. to, for that show. It's a runway for my excitement. Thank you for the <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> all right. So that was that was cool. Four. Yay! New new Kylie Minogue album. I'm really excited. Oh, I, the dancing? new single is. That's what's called, right? Good. Dancing. Uh, Golden is the name of the album. Dancing, dancing, I think, is the first single. Uh, it's, it's fine, but I'm always yeah. really, really excited about any new Kylie Minogue When was their last album? I think two years, I think. Oh, it's not that long. It's not long that ago. long, but they, they're still calling it a... They call it all their last like five albums comeback albums, and it's like, well, oh, it's just yeah. the next album. Yep. Do they call them comeback albums just in America? I don't think so, because oh. I think most of what I'm seeing is actually the UK stuff, where mm. people tend to have the, the, the tabloid voice kind of decides oh we're pro kylie or anti kylie at any moment and then she has to recover from that somehow according to them but yeah i don't have anything else to say about that cool um uh next Good. <laughs> i'm guessing this is on your guys lists solo mm-hmm. because it's a star wars movie yep i don't know much about it mm-hmm. and i don't have a I high have expectations no i'm just like anything. oh it's a star wars movie mm-hmm. and uh don glover's in it and yeah. woody harrelson I'll, that might that means I'll probably enjoy it at mm-hmm. least their parts. The the weirdest thing yep. is I'm just like I don't know what to expect. How did they make a Star Wars movie that didn't make it onto my list of twenty five things? Oh, really? that just like I go like nah. I I will see oh, it okay. probably, but I'm just I can't. I'm not excited about it. I'm 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 curious. The curiosity has has made the cat want to go to see it. <laughs> Do you think that you're not excited to see Solo because of? the resolution of his story in the force awakens i just have no it's like i've never when they announced it i thought they were joking because why would you want to go into depth into that character unless you had it be in his older years or something because it's like that him just showing up as a regular dude you don't know anything about Mm -hmm. is one of my favorite things about him that he managed to get to get sucked into this basically by boasting about his ship and uh and i'm just like i'm not interested in his backstory so much have you heard of the theory that he was a stormtrooper no, I have not. Because that is a theory. Okay. That Han Solo was perhaps a stormtrooper who, um, which doesn't mm. quite make sense because <laughs> it was the era of clone right. soldiers, but maybe that was like, I don't so know, he's right, a clone? Right. came up at different times. That's, right. that's a theory that he of... is a clone huh. and that oh. Boba Fett, like somebody really wanted Boba Fett to be <laughs> his clone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And that's, that's something that, but whatever, <laughs> like some people really want him to have been a stormtrooper and that's how he and Chewie like no okay. the stormtrooper also <laughs> no that he like saves Chewie right. and that's why oh, okay. he has a life debt um so yeah does that yeah. change your mind not even a little bit I'm, but I, I don't yeah, it's like I, I, this, it's, I'm hoping it I'm not like I'm rooting for it to be a great success and I, mm-hmm. I want it to be great I'm just I can't I just happen to not be excited about it I'm a little concerned that they're gonna have him be like Kirk in the, the yeah. Star Trek reboot mm-hmm. yeah. where he's like getting in fights and stuff he's like, like the cool guy and they're yeah. like you have to blah, like poe dameron <laughs> uh-huh a little <laughs> bit yeah uh-huh. um 
he and I are on the outs right now. So oh, the really? Last Jedi. There. <laughs> um, oh, I, I still like him. I, I know we had we, actually, we had a we very, had like a very heated talk. conversation about this. <laughs> about standing up in the kitchen about mansplaining. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited for it because like if it does kind of go down the pipes like the prequels, <laughs> then I can just pretend that they never happened. But or it never happened. <laughs> but if it's good, then it's something that happens in the Star Wars sure, universe. Yeah, yeah. It's in space, which yep. is something that I do go out to see. Did <laughs> yeah. it happen in space? I'm there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I I took too long at the beginning of the show. We have guys, nine so. minutes left. Yeah, let's go this quick. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, who else has something to say? I said solo. Yeah, Ariel. What number are we on? Oh, that's a good uh, question. Four? That was my fourth. Okay, so yes, number four. My number four is A Wrinkle in Time. Uh, I Based read- on a book. <laughs> I read that book series when I was a kid. I'm excited because one of the major reasons is because it's a family that is multicultural and that reflects mm-hmm. my history. And so I'm excited to see that. And the design of it looks really, really cool. Mm-hmm. So when I saw a trailer for that, I like immediately for some reason went, is this, is this going to be Flatland? And I was super, I was like, they're doing a terrible job of, flat- Oh, wrinkle and time. Okay. Yeah. Totally so I different. just can't, I can't get a, a, uh, I, I can't get past that thinking this is a terrible flatland so I'm not excited about that one <laughs> I don't know whether it'll be a good wrinkle in time or not but uh, who knows whatever guys here, <laughs> I, I have I have a question uh, could we each have like you have four more things on your list three, uh, three. should we try to do this or should we uh, next week do a do a I sequel I think that we should oh I can finish. My, my, I don't have much to say about. The okay, we mine, could so. just each could just be. say the last. All right, cool. One. All right, sorry guys. Three Bad to rush the most important ones. No. Yeah, <laughs> three. Uh, don't spoil anything for any of our listeners. Uh, Doctor Who coming up new mm. season oh, yeah. is yeah. a big deal with a lot of writing. Did on you watch the, the Christmas specials? Yes. Anyway, I saw the end of that. Should so. be on my list. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> totally forgot about it, right. uh-huh. but I support. Well, that. you have other. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not American, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about it. <laughs> um, number three, video game, Far Cry 5. Nice. Okay. And this thing, I have not played any Far Cry games. This game, it looks awesome. It's about, it's an open world game shooting stuff. and um, But it takes place in, I think, Montana. And it's like a crazy, crazy cult. Yeah. And you're get involved with them and stuff and it just looks like a really cool idea for a game and uh, i'm excited to play it yeah cool. should i say all of my last ones sure. together in one chunk sure okay so number three is playing D for the first time at some undisclosed date <laughs> uh-huh. with you guys and one other person oh, playing D, yeah yeah <laughs> i said <laughs> playing <laughs> indie and i was like indiana jones or we, yeah, we're, i didn't playing know we had any. <laughs> indie. yeah no D. i've never played yeah before. no that's I, be fun yeah that's that actually choice. should be on my list too mm-hmm Probably will, be number 12 yeah. or something. It will be <laughs> highly ridiculous, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh-huh. Uh, number two, solo. Mm-hmm. Number one comes in two parts. I added the second part <laughs> to the show because I was like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm actually really excited about that. It's a personal thing. Uh, so 1A, Black Panther. Mm-hmm. We've already talked about mm-hmm. it. If you missed that part of the episode, <laughs> sorry. Yep. <laughs> Look it up. You'll be excited, too. Uh, 1B is graduating the certificate. Oh right, yeah, yeah. The vocational certificate yeah. program that I'm in right now, because uh, that um, I've 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 worked hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Excited I forgot for that that, that was happen. this year. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm gonna be an adult, guys. <laughs> All right, so that's. And then, Phil, we're gonna have to step up our game. <laughs> do you want? What do you do? You want like Oreos or something to celebrate? What do you want? Uh, a single Oreo All and right, a pat cool. on the back. Solo Oreo. <laughs> Solo. <All right>, so. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yep. My number two is uh, the house that Jack built. New uh, Lars von Trier movie that I'm just super. Oh excited. yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, that, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Matt Dillon. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird combo. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. kind of Jack the Ripper. Yeah. I think. But what? yeah. 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 Uh, what's number one? Uh, the current season of the X Files, which has been fantastic uh, yeah. in my opinion. How many more episodes are there? I think there are six more. Ooh, that's pretty good. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. It just, it's been so far the most, like, it, it's, it, it's the X Files doing modern commentary instead of being, you know, point, they're not doing 90s conspiracy stuff anymore. That's they're cool. doing current stuff, and I, it's great. Do they talk about, because they, 
when before they came when they came back last year, have they talked about the space between like the last ten years? Like what has happened much? Yeah, kind of, but what, not a whole lot. Okay. Was it like they reunited or were they Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um I'm excited to see that, but I'm kind of like not excited about catching up from where we well, left we, off. Well, because we have like two more seasons to watch and we were kind of losing steam a little bit. Okay, where yeah, we, a lot I of was people definitely did. losing more steam than you were. Yeah. And it wasn't because I was not interested in it anymore. It was because it was at the point when Mulder wasn't there. Yeah, and yeah it, I, I, I I liked Duggett so much and I mm-hmm. loved the final season. So I, I, a lot of people didn't and I, I get that but it's, for me it's, it's, it's me yeah. getting to know the terminator as the, the other terminator <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. as not being the other terminator and getting right. past that introductory period where yeah. he's finally not trying to like tell scully that she sucks <laughs> I, I was i i was liking him um i think there was x files as a last few years i just felt like there were a few the last ones we were watching just like every once in a while there was an episode where i was like the video this game is so episode? yeah. Like, that's, I oh, don't the, get the, why this uh, episode first person exists, shooter but yeah, such an awful... yeah. yeah. Uh, there are a few like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see. Um, I'll go ahead and say my two Kingdom Hearts three, another video game. It's been de- been delayed or pushed back or whatever for years. It's the kind of Final Fantasy meets uh, Disney characters, yeah. <laughs> and um, that's yeah. I, I'm excited. and It's expected to come out late this year. We'll see. I like to be able to run around and see Mickey and different characters, <laughs> and uh, and it be like taken seriously. It's not just yeah. for little kids. And number one, yeah, Black Panther. Uh, we have a couple minutes. I want to quick say a few things quick say. that I quick say. Quick say. Um, there, Nicholas Cage is doing a, is in a few movies that come out this year, or at least I think they're coming out this year, where he he plays. It's, they're weird ones, like any outrageous. What's and his I, name? Nicholas Cosmo, Cage in a yeah. weird Cosmo. movie. Pocahontas. I can't remember his name. Cosmo Pocahontas. The guy I who did uh, 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 the movie. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Anyway, oh, uh, Black Beyond the Black Rainbow. Is that what it's called? Oh, yeah. that one. So yeah. I, he's Nicholas Cage is in his new movie, and I was, that sounds super interesting. That's not, yeah. Um, I, have you seen Army of One? I think it was called. No. It, do you know what I'm talking about? No. It's Nicolas Cage, and it's based on true stories, comedy about a guy who was like, I'm going to go catch oh, Ben right, Laden. Oh, right, right, yeah. I really liked it a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it. Um, Sorry to Bother You is what it's called. Boots Riley from the Coup directed movie, and it has a bunch of people in it, and um, it looks good. <laughs> I recommend uh, checking out what there is online about it. Um, even though it doesn't, it's not until 2019, um, uh, uh, Star Wars Land, Disneyland, Disney World. I'm I didn't excited make my cut because it wasn't this year. But I'm excited to see the progress throughout the yeah. year. Um, and FYF Fest, if we if that if, exists, if it out, and we yeah. go then yes. Yep. All right. Yeah. Anything else you guys? Have? Well, the, 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 the new Peter Rabbit movie looks like the new Peter like Rabbit. The movie? worst case scenario of that being adapted to a movie. It looks. Mm. It just looks like literally Wait, based the, on the worst. Book? Like, yeah. like Peter Rabbit. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, Rabbit, I'm so Peter sad Rabbit? that that's that that's the way that's going. Huh. Yeah. Um, we've got about 20 seconds. I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and say uh, Cloverfield. We'll see if it's good. Venom. Yeah. Uh, sea of Thieves <laughs> video game. You know, you guys got it. Yeah, you got it. All right. Well, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I don't know what the theme is next weekend. Out next weekend. Next week, I don't know who's gonna be on. But you know what? It's gonna be amazing. It'll probably be at least the best episode ever. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Remember, oh, your check up. out the website <laughs> kvca.fm. Lots of shows. Lots of stuff.